welcome back uh, today's topic is uh, greenback normal form we seen in last class how to convert a context free grammar into the chomsky normal form let's uh, this class uh, let's convert a context free grammar into the greenback normal form as i already introduced you what is meant by greenback normal form is uh, a context free language is said to be in uh, greenback normal form if and only if if all of its productions a tends to ax then a tends to a where a is belongs to terminal x is belongs to variable closure okay here we are not putting restriction on the length of the string in the rhs we are putting restriction on the position of the terminals okay he, here see rhs should start with the terminal only followed by any number of variables we can accept okay that form of the grammar is called as the greenback normal form okay so before discussing how to convert a context free grammar into the greenback normal form let me explain two lemmas like two theorems first lemma one is the substitution rule how we can write the substitution rule is for example we have a production a tends to b alpha then b tends to beta 1 slash beta 2 slash beta 3 slash beta 4 and so on okay let's substitute b production in a production so that we can write the new production that is a tends to beta 1 alpha beta 2 alpha beta 3 alpha beta 4 alpha and so on so this uh, this theorem is called lemma 1 other name for lemma 1 is the substitution rule okay the second lemma the name of the second lemma is the elimination of left recursion okay let's take the production of the form a tends to a alpha slash beta you know what is left recursion lhs variable is the leftmost variable in the rhs part is called as the left recursion okay how you can write without left recursion the same grammar is a tends to beta a dash i mean introduce a new non-terminal slash beta then a dash tends to alpha a dash slash alpha okay so this is how we can eliminate the left recursion right this this lemma is called as uh, i mean lemma to elimination of left recursion let try write, write down this lemma in very generalized form like a tends to a alpha 1 slash a alpha 2 slash a alpha 3 slash and so on beta 1 beta 2 beta 3 and so on okay how we can write after eliminating this is i'm writing the generalized equation not only for one leftmost recursion many leftmost recursion i am writing at a time how we can return as a tends to beta 1 a dash slash beta 2 a dash slash beta 3 a dash slash and so on beta 1 slash beta 2 slash beta 3 and so on okay so we introduce the a dash variable now define a dash as a dash tends to alpha 1 a dash slash alpha 2 a dash slash alpha 3 a dash slash and so on alpha 1 alpha 2 alpha 3 and so on okay so by using this two lemmas we can convert a given context free grammar into the greenback normal form so this is the procedure how to convert a context free grammar into the greenback normal form so first step in the procedure simplify the grammar meaning that eliminate useless variables eliminate epsilon productions eliminate unit productions then convert the given grammar into the chomsky normal form second step is rename all the variables in the given grammar by using a1 a2 a3 for example i have the grammar s comma a comma b so i renamed as s is renamed with a1 a is renamed with a2 b is renamed with a3 
a3 yes then third step is we may have we may come across the situations like a1 tends to a2 a2 tends to a1 some equations okay among this equation which one we can choose first for converting into the Griebeck normal is crucial point in this procedure so according to the third step choose a production such that left hand side variable subscript is greater than right hand side starting variable subscript then apply either lemma 1 or lemma 2 according to the production okay so left hand side variable subscript is greater than the right hand side variable subscript so based on this which one we can choose this is we can choose the first then fourth step is so repeat applying lemma 1 or lemma 2 according to their productions until all productions are converted into the Greeback normal form let's apply this procedure to convert one problem into the Greeback normal form this is the given grammar s tends to double a slash a a tends to double s slash b the variables are s and a terminals are a and b convert this grammar into the Greeback normal form as you know first step first simplify the grammar simplification means first identify is there any useless variables so s generate a a generate b a is reachable to s the grammar not contains any useless variables no unit productions no epsilon production so the given grammar is already in a simplified form then after that before converting grammar into the Greeback normal form it's mandatory to convert the given grammar into the Chomsky normal form okay so there are two variables one terminal two variable one terminal so the given grammar is in a Chomsky normal form only okay then according to the procedure the second step is rename the variables with the a1 a2 okay so how we are renaming s equals to a1 capital a equals to a2 okay so first rename this one how we can write it as a1 tends to a2 a2 slash a take it as a equation 1 then a2 tends to a1 a1 slash b take it as equation 2 yes then choosing the production from these two equations is important as for procedure always choose left hand side variable subscript is greater than the right hand side starting variable subscript so according to this this is i this is j this is i this is j as for our procedure we are expecting i is greater than j so which one satisfy this condition is second equation yes so take the second equation a2 tends to a1 a1 slash b okay then apply either lemma 1 or lemma 2 which one we can apply so in the place of a1 you can substitute this productions meaning that applying lemma 1 okay so after applying lemma 1 how we can return it as a2 tends to in the place of this is first one a2 a2 a1 then slash then substitute a a a1 slash remaining b now look at this production this is a this is a this is alpha 1 this is beta 1 this is beta 2 so which lemma you can apply lemma 2 elimination of the left recursion okay now rewrite this production as a tends to beta 1 a a1 so introducing the new non-terminal z i am introducing instead of taking a dash i am taking z then beta 2 z then beta 1 beta 2 
this is all okay then what is z z tends to alpha 1 what is alpha 1 a to a1 alpha 1 then z alpha 1 z slash alpha 1 a to a1 in this i taken z instead of a dash okay everything is same just simply eliminating the left recursion only by using generalized formula written in lemma 2 you observe a2 starting with terminal starting with terminal starting with terminal starting with terminal meaning that so this production is already converted into the greeback normal form okay now take this production equation 1 a1 tends to a2 a2 slash a now substitute a2 productions in this production so that we can convert this into the greeback normal form i am asking you to apply substitution rule only lemma 1 so how we can return it as so a1 tends to a1 tends to this is 1 a a1 z a2 slash then substitute this one b z a2 slash then substitute this one a a1 a2 then substitute b so b a2 slash what is there a only so in the place of a2 we substituted so now you observe a1 is also converted into the greeback normal form okay then what is not converted into the greeback normal form only z production now take the z productions z tends to a2 a1 z slash a2 a1 we return this production as z tends to a2 a1 z comma z tends to a2 a1 okay now substitute one by one first one is a a1 z so i can return it as z tends to a a1 z a1 z so in the place of a2 only i am substituting here also in the place of a2 substitute a1 a a1 z now it is z tends to a a1 z a1 then now substitute this one now we can write z tends to b z a1 z comma z tends to b z a1 then substitute this one z tends to a a1 a1 z in the place of only then z tends to a a1 a1 substitute last one b so z tends to b a1 z then z tends to b a1 only okay after that you return all are the same production so as you observe these are all converted into the greeback normal form so how we can return them as a single production is z tends to a a1 z a1 z slash a a1 z a1 slash b z a1 z slash b z a1 slash a a1 a1 z slash a a1 a1 slash b a1 z slash b a1 so this is all the z productions you observe them all are converted into the greeback normal form all are starting by terminal only okay now see a1 is converted into the greeback normal form a2 is converted into the greeback normal form z is also converted into the greeback normal form finally the grammar is converted into the greeback normal form so this is the given grammar okay 
these are all the productions converted into the Greeback normal form A2 production, A1 production and Z production right at one place. This is the equivalent grammar.